Thank you to Kenneth Copeland Ministries for sowing the airtime for this broadcast. There's enough power in every sick room and in every hospital room to raise up that sick one that may be describing you. Yes, you yes. may be in a sick room. Yep. You may be in a hospital room. And I want to remind you, power is present. That power is there to do a work. Believe in what's present, not try to get something, but notice that he's already made it yours. It's present right where you're at. Say, I receive that power. I receive, I receive that power. I receive it right now. I receive it right From now. From the top of my head. From the top of my to head. the soles of my feet. The soles of my feet. Welcome. We're so glad to have you with us today. Come on in. We're having a good time. We saved you a seat. You say, well, where is my seat? Right in front of your screen. Right there it is. So we want you to get your Bible and follow along with us and expect for clarity, expect yes. for answers, expect yes. for needs that you have maybe facing in your life that you receive a supply for that. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Word has our supply Amen. and we're here to hear. Amen. Yes. Be hearers wise so that we can learn to better do. Yes. Amen. We've been taking weeks now and we've been teaching on following the Holy Spirit. You say, well, Pastor Nancy, this is called Jesus the Healer. We thought you're going to teach on healing. He will lead us into, into healing if we'll follow him. And that's why it's important for us to learn how he leads and uh, what he's in us to do. And uh, because he'll lead us into the highest flow in every arena of our life if we listen to him. And many times we have, unless we're taught, we don't know to listen to our spirits or we don't know to listen to the greater one that's on the inside of us. When God has something to say to us, he tells the Holy Spirit who's in us and the Holy Spirit communicates that to our spirits. And then what our spirit knows floats up and enlightens our mind. And then we can walk it out in obedience. Amen. Um, we've been looking at so many good scriptures. Go back and watch previous episodes because there's so much that we've been referring to. But uh, let's look real quickly. I want to go back to some previous scriptures we've looked at, not because we're going to camp on them, but I want to refer to them before we go further. John 16, verse 12 Jesus was speaking to his disciples. He was letting them know, hey, I'm leaving, but it's expedient or to yes. your advantage that I go away because if I go away, I'll send the Holy Spirit. And so verse 12 of John chapter 16, he's talking a little bit more about what the Spirit will be to us when he comes. He said in verse 12, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Uh, verse 13, how be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you. Now listen to that. He will guide you into all truth. Yes. Um, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. Where's he going to hear it from God? Yes. That shall he speak and he will show you things to come. So now we say, we see this, the spirit will guide us into all truth. The spirit will show us things to come. How many of you know that's an advantage yes. to know what's ahead? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Why? Because you can be prepared for it. Verse 14, he shall glorify me. How many of you know he's not going to belittle Jesus? He's going to glorify him. For he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. Verse 15, all things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore, said I, that he will take of mine and shall show it unto you. So because we are co-heirs with Jesus, what belongs to him belongs to us. And Jesus is going to show, and the Holy Spirit is going to show us what belongs to Jesus because in that he's showing us what belongs to us. So we see this. He'll guide us into all truth. He'll show us things to come. He will show what is of Jesus, uh, what Jesus is saying to us, and he will show us our inheritance. Yes. Yes. Now, notice all this that the Holy Spirit will show. Mm -hmm. He will give, he will guide, he will impart all these things to us. Um, also, I want you to see this, though. When it comes to following the Holy Spirit, we have to know this. Um, it requires faith. Yes. Yes. 
to follow the Holy Spirit because what he shows, we believe that by faith. Yes. We receive that by faith. Of course, what he shows will always be in agreement with the word. Yes. It won't be in opposition. When he shows us our inheritance, mm -hmm. he reveals in the word to us, showing us what belongs to us in Christ. We have to cooperate with him by faith, by faith. not by feeling, yes. by faith. Amen. It says he will guide you in all truth. Then we have to, by faith, mm -hmm. believe that. Yes. Move with him in yes. that truth. So the Holy Spirit can lead us in a particular direction, but if we don't have the, if we don't by faith follow him, yes. uh, then we won't have the success we need to have because, uh, listen, when we're following the Holy Spirit, we're following an unseen one. Yeah. Yes. When you're dealing with the unseen, you have to have faith. Yes. That's right. You can only deal with the unseen realm by faith. By faith. Yes. And uh, if the outcome is to be successful and if we're to profit through what the Spirit shows us, we're going to have to use our faith. It's a must. Yes. Yes. It's a must. You know, when God delivered the Hebrews from slavery, uh, when he delivered them out of Egypt, he led them on the route to take, mm -hmm. right? One place he led them to was a wilderness. Yes. Yeah. He did not lead them to the wilderness to linger. Mm -hmm. yes. He led them to the wilderness to pass through. Yes. But because they did not believe, mm -hmm. they chose to doubt. They chose to be in unbelief and not faith. They could not progress any further, although there was more for them to move into. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They would not use their faith. They did not use their faith. So what happens for 40 years, that first generation lives outside the promised land in proximity to it. Close to it. They can see it with their eyes, but it doesn't matter. I don't want to just live close to the blessings. I want to dwell in the fullness yes. and the Holy Spirit will lead us into that. Yes. He, he will guide us into the truth. Right. He will show us things to come. Yes. Listen, he shows us things to come because things to come call for our faith to, to arrive at them. Right. Yes. Uh, he shows us things to come so that we'll know how to prepare. Yes. Yes. So we'll prepare for what's ahead. Um, it's not enough to know something's coming. You have to be prepared for it. Yes. You know, here in the United States, you got to have a driver's license to drive a car, right? Um, you can come up to driving age. Yes. I don't know, it's 16 here or whatever. 16 years old. You can come up to 16 years old, but if you haven't prepared right. to get your license, they won't give it to you, right. even though you should or it's available to right. you. You have to prepare right. to take advantage yes. of what is available to you. Yes. Same thing with the Holy Spirit. Right. He shows us things to come, so we'll prepare. Mm -hmm. yes. Because as we're prepared, then we can lay hold of. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we pay attention to what he's preparing us for, even when nothing or what he's leading us into, what he's showing us, because this realm won't show us yes. always what's to come. Yes. Yes. And so many times people won't prepare because they don't know something's ahead, but the Holy Spirit will show you things to come so you can prepare. Don't wait for this realm to show you. By faith, believe what the Spirit is showing you. By faith, believe what the Spirit is showing you. Now, God told the Hebrews when they were delivered out of Egypt, um, God said, I, ha I have given you a land. It's already theirs, yet this realm didn't show that they were the owner. Yes. But in God's realm, he made them owner. Yes. All they had to do was walk out in this realm what he had already, already prepared. Um, God was showing them, right? But they did not add their faith with it. When the spies went to spy out the land ahead of time, um, the 10 spies that came back with reports of doubt, mm -hmm. they talked about the opposition. Yeah. 
Joshua and Caleb were the only two that came back talking about what God said. When the Holy Spirit shows you something, the way to move into it is keep talking about what he showed you. <laughs> Don't talk about what's opposing you yes. in the sense of yes. you, you, you can be aware of what's opposing yes. you. Yeah, we're aware of it, but it's not getting our attention. Yes. It's not getting our focus. Yes. It is not taking the place of what God has shown us. That's right. Amen. That's right. We look at the, at the invisible when what we see doesn't show us the right thing. That's right. It's called look, yeah. while we look yeah. not yeah. at the things yeah. which are seen, yeah. but at the things which are not seen, the Holy Spirit's going to show you the unseen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it calls for us to add our faith, Amen. to move with him in that because like you, I don't want to live in proximity of God's blessings. I want to occupy. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. So we're going to have to operate in faith. The Holy Spirit will... Uh, it. it we were reading it in a previous episode. I believe it's 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. It says, The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit mm-hmm. yes. with all. Yes. Notice, the manifestation of the Spirit. Anything the Spirit's involved in, there's going to be profit. Yes. There's going to be increase. Yes. There's going to be advancement. Yes. There's going to be something more than you had before. Yes. Amen. Amen. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. I know that that verse is an introduction to talking about the nine manifestations or nine gifts of the Spirit, but it's true, period, about the Holy Spirit, yes. that when He's involved, there's profit. Yes. But even what He has shown us and revealed to us calls for our faith or we won't profit as we ought unless we employ our faith or attach our faith to what he's showing us. We must stay in faith even when this realm doesn't show us what the Spirit has shown us. Amen. 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 Um, One of the reasons that I've said I wanted to, and I was prompted and led to teach on on following the Holy Spirit is because he will lead us into success. But we have to follow him and we follow him by faith. When somebody has a sense in their spirit of how God is leading them, but they overstep that, Mm -hmm. they violate that, they go a different direction. It's a faith issue. It's a faith issue. And uh, so we have to make sure that um, we recognize what he shows calls for our faith. Amen. Amen. But I, as I was saying, is that it's important that we learn to follow the Spirit because even though this broadcast is called Jesus the Healer, and that's our emphasis, yes. is healing, right. um, there's things we have to know. Yeah. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. There's some things we have yeah. to know, yes. not just that healing belongs to yeah. us, right. but we have to know other things that help us cooperate yeah. Yeah. with the healing that belongs yeah. to us. Yeah. Um, as I've said before, if we'll learn to follow the spirit, he is the divine guide. Mm -hmm. He is is the divine teacher. He'll guide us into healing. He won't guide us into sickness. He won't guide us in a way to break down our body. He will guide us into a way that will bless the different arenas of our life, including our health. Now, as I said, you have to have, you have to follow him by faith. Um, Just to share a personal experience years ago, my goodness, I was in my twenties about two or three years ago (laughs) by faith (laughs) and a little bit by being oblivious. Um, (laughs) um, Years ago, I began having some symptoms in my body and I had gone to the doctor And they said, you know, we'll put you on this medication. And I came home and I thought, now see, I was spiritually young. I was still very spiritually young. I had, this was my thinking. If I take medicine, that means I'm not in faith. But let let me explain it all before I 
try to explain more. But I had talked to my husband and I said, because he had been in the ministry for years. I'd only been saved and felt the Holy Ghost a, a, a few, maybe a several, couple years or so. And I told him what I was struggling with. I said, I don't want to go on the medication because I'm, in my thinking, if I go on that, it's because I'm not believing mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And my husband made a statement. He said, Nancy, it's not the withholding of medicine that pleases God. Wow. It's faith. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I heard that, mm -hmm. but I wasn't processing it right. Yeah. And so I was still struggling. Mm -hmm. right. I hadn't gone on the medication. I was still struggling with this. And how many of you know when you don't quite think right, yes. uh -huh. the enemy will energize wrong yes. thinking. Yes. He will energize it. And that wrong yes. thinking gets accented. Yes. It gets, it, it just kind of starts spinning out of control, yes. so to speak. And so because I was thinking wrong, um, I was struggling. And I would take time and I would pray in the spirit, read my Bible, make confessions. And because I was seeking, you know, the word says, ask, yeah. knock, seek. Yes. You're going to find yes. That's right. if you won't give up. And so right. just in my immaturity, I just did all I knew to do to listen. Mm -hmm. And one day as I was feeding on the word, the spirit of God spoke to me and he said, go on the medication. He said, but while you're on it, mm -hmm. feed your faith. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Feed your faith. He said, when your faith is to the place it needs to be, then I'll tell you when to come off. Oh, that's good. Amen. Notice this, yes. the Holy Spirit, our helper. Yes. He's your medical helper. Yes. He's your physical yes. helper. Yes. About the physical body, yes. he's your counselor. Yes. He's your guide. Yeah. He's your teacher. In that council, he was teaching me. Yes. So I realized this in what he said, go on the medication and while you're on it, feed your faith. Mm -hmm. When your faith gets to the point that it needs to be, mm -hmm. he said, I'll tell you when to come off. Mm -hmm. Because the doctors basically had said, you'll be on this for a while. And they said, you, you, you'll have to come off little by little. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, I recognize with what the spirit said. Now see, what am I doing? I'm following the spirit. I hear him. Yes. Now see what he said to me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to by faith say that's true. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I tell you what my mind, my mind was saying and the enemy yeah. was yeah. saying, yeah. don't, yeah. if you, if you go on medicine, you don't have faith. Yeah. If you go on medicine, yeah. you don't have faith. Yeah. Well, the Holy Spirit was giving me a very simple answer. Now, your situation can look so complicated, can look so tangled, and in your mind, it can look huge to you. It only takes one thing from the Spirit to simplify, bring it down in its simplicity. Just because your situation may look complicated, the answer is not complicated. Why? Because nothing's complicated in God's realm. Everything is easy with God. It's simple. It's simple. And here I had so tangled up by getting entrenched in that mental arena, going, following wrong thinking and wrong defining. My heart was right. See, your heart can be right, but you think can be wrong. And so the Holy Spirit was leading me into right thinking. I knew what healing scripture said, but I needed to apply where I was at in my faith. Yes. Yes. And I needed the Spirit's help right. to yes. think right. right. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. But see, when he said that, I had to believe him yes. and not just hold to my own thinking because if I was going to hold to my own thinking, I was, I was, I was going to stay rutted yes. in wrong thinking. That's right. And so I realized when the Holy Spirit said, go on the medication, but while you're on it, continue to feed your faith. Mm -hmm. I realized you can go on medication 
and not be in faith. Or you can withhold medicine and still not be in faith and you won't please God. See, it's faith that pleases God. Faith that pleases God. It's not whether you take medicine or don't take medicine. But can I tell you this? The Holy Spirit's not ever going to lead you to do something that's not pleasing to God. Me taking the medication was not displeasing to God or the Spirit would have never led me that way. But He told me how to stay pleasing to God while I'm taking the medication. Keep feeding your faith. Keep feeding your faith. Amen. So I did that. You say, how did you keep feeding your faith, Pastor Nancy? I had certain healing verses that spoke to me, that stood out to me. And I would meditate on those every day. I would pull out the same verses. Why? Because God's Word is medicine. Why did the Holy Spirit say keep feeding your faith? Because the way you feed your faith is feeding on the Word. God's Word is medicine. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 22 tells us that. God's Word is the medicine He prescribes. He doesn't mind you taking natural medicine. Just don't fail to take His medicine. Knowing His Word is not the taking of medicine. Listen to me. Knowing what the Word says is not the taking of medicine. If this cup signified a prescription bottle, mm-hmm. I could sit this right, I could set this right here. I know it's there. I know the medicine in there could help me, but that's not the taking that's of the right. medicine. Yeah, right. You can know there are healing verses. You can even agree that there's healing verses. That's not the taking that's of medicine. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Very good. Don't mistake, don't make the mistake. As one minister said, it's so good. He said, don't make the mistake of substituting your belief in healing for the actual taking of God's medicine. Let me say it again. Don't mistake your belief in healing for the actual taking of God's medicine. You can believe something but not be doing it. That's true. You can... See a certain dish on the table and go, I know that's good. That doesn't mean you're eating it. Right? right? Yeah. You can know the word is true, that's but that right. doesn't mean you're eating it. That's right. That's right. So how did I feed my faith? I took those healing verses and I put them in my mouth. God's word is medicine to all their flesh. One translation, well, the King James says is, is health and healing, health to all their flesh. The Hebrew in the Old Testament was originally written in Hebrew, says it's medicine. Mm -hmm. That word is medicine to all their flesh. This medicine is taken orally. (laughs) It's an oral medication. You take it orally with your mouth. Um, And you say, Pastor Nancy, I'm not able. I've had people call me and communicate and say, I'm not able to speak out loud. What do I do if I can't speak it out loud? Say it to yourself. It's what you say to yourself is still you saying. If you're in a position where you can't say something audibly with your voice, still uh, what you're saying to yourself is still saying. So just on the inside of you, say it to yourself. Meditate on it. Say it to yourself. Um, So I took those healing verses And I just said them and I said them. I didn't say them all day long, but Mm -hmm. just I meditate on it. And then I went through and made sure I say it. Mm -hmm. After a couple of months, the Holy Spirit, my helper, Mm -hmm. my guide, my teacher said, you can come off the medication now. Mm -hmm. There was no struggle. Mm -hmm. There was no should I. See, when I heard him, I believed him. If we're going to follow the Spirit, we have to agree with what we hear Him say. Whether we would have done that or not, whether that's what we would have planned or not, He's always right. He's always right. I came off that medication. I didn't come off slowly because He said, you can come off the medication now. And I said, I'm coming off. And I did. I had never another 
problem with it. Amen. Now, um, the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, you'll have to keep using your faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. Well, see, we should know that. Yes. The, what we did to receive healing is what we have to do to, to hold fast yes. to our yes. healing. Yes. Just keep, it's, it's just our life feeding yeah. on the word. Yes. Amen. Amen. So that's what I mean when I say the Holy Spirit will lead us mm -hmm. right. into health. Uh -huh. If he tells us to stop doing something physically, don't do this. Don't do that. Add this. Take away that. We need to believe him <laughs> because he's trying to lead us into God's best. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit, notice how he led me in line with my faith. He may have told another person, you don't need to go on that medicine. Just, uh, you know, use your faith. But me... He told me, keep feeding your faith. Why? Because my faith wasn't where it needed to be. Yes, that's right. He never, he never rebuked me. Amen. God, it, I, you, you see this, Jesus would refer to people's faith in the scriptures. Why did you have little faith? Why did, oh, ye of little faith. Uh, he would say somebody had great faith. He would recognize that their faith was at different places in their life. Um, he never rebuked them. For their measure, he rebuked them for not using it. Amen. When we follow the Holy Spirit, use your faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, these are some of the things that we're dealing with in the book that I've been teaching out of called Following the Holy Spirit. We want you to get your copy because it'll be a blessing to you. You can read it, go back, reread scriptures and reread passages over and over. You can go to our website at defrayministries.org and you can place your order there. Listen, you may know somebody else who needs it. Get more copies. The, these things are life changing. Amen. Because the word will change your life. And until next time, remember this, Jesus is the healer. God bless you. To watch or listen to today's message and other messages by Nancy Dufresne, visit DufresneMinistries.org. In Romans 8, 14, God gives his children the promise that he will lead them by his spirit. So we have a right to expect to be led. In this important book by Nancy Dufresne, Following the Holy Spirit, you will learn how to recognize and follow the leading of the Spirit and receive God's help in every arena of your life. Order this book now at DufresneMinistries.org. Come join us for our Dufresne Ministries Miracle Crusade in Georgetown, Texas at Church on the Rock, October 15th through the 19th. For more information and to register, visit our website at defrainministries.org. Come expecting your miracle. We trust you've enjoyed this message. Visit us at defrainministries.org to learn of our upcoming meetings, share your testimony, submit a prayer request, or visit our online store. Thank you to the friends and partners of Dufresne Ministries for making this production possible. Every one of us have a job to do in the body of Christ. It's a new day of stepping into places in the Spirit that will bring us into a greater flow. They call for anything else but to help people. A fresh momentum that hits a stride. What is the job of the body of Christ? It's to set people free, get people healed, get people saved. Can you say amen? Hitting a stride in the spirit realm, in healing, and in gifts of healings. This is Pastor Nancy Dufresne, President of Dufresne Ministries. I want to extend an invitation to you 
to become a partner with Dufresne Ministries today. The vision of Dufresne Ministries is to move with the Word and the Spirit as we bring the message of faith and God's healing power to this generation. Partnership is a two-way street. We commit to bring the uncompromised Word of God to you, and you can, by faith, become a partaker of the grace upon this ministry. Then our partners bring their prayer and support. If you receive from this ministry and have been blessed by it, please pray about becoming a partner today. God bless you. Some of the arms of the ministry that you'll support include a traveling ministry with crusades and conferences held nationwide and abroad, the printing and publishing of books, CDs, and DVDs to get this message out, Fresh Oil Fellowship, a ministerial organization for the encouragement of five-fold ministers who desire to flow with the Word and the Spirit, TV and other media broadcasts, that reach various parts of the world. Our Jesus the Healer television broadcast is currently on six different networks, potentially reaching 329 million households. Benefits you receive from partnership include a 20% discount on all Dufresne Ministries products, a monthly partner letter from Nancy Dufresne, consistent ministry updates and communication, and the prayer of agreement with our partners. Be a part in carrying out the vision. Pray about becoming a legacy partner today. For more information, go to our website at defrainministries.org.